periodically time i know i know i know i know we took a poll on instagram if you don't follow me on instagram you should definitely follow me at ox naya all of my handles are the same for all of my social media i did a poll yesterday on instagram asking you guys which story you wanted to hear first i actually did record the video that got the most votes which will be my next video i am so sorry but i realized i need my friend to be available right now like to talk on the phone for that to kind of work out. So I'm just going to do the second most voted for. So let's get into part one of the story time of my first time smoking. So I say this is gonna be a part one of two because see, a lot of people would assume that I'm gonna be talking about marijuana and why would I need two parts to talk about that? I do because for me to explain that, I have to explain the very first time I smoked something period because I've been wanting to talk about that for the longest time because that was just the weirdest phase I've ever been in my life like I was desperate and we're gonna get into it so let's go the beginning of this story takes place in eighth grade this was eighth grade i'm pretty sure it was like right before we we're about to end school as a child i was very sheltered there were a lot of things i did not know about a lot of things i was curious about and a lot of things that i was just finding out about in my later um days of eighth grade before i went to high school i remember i was in math class in eighth grade it was only me and one other girl um angela who were in that specific math class. And we always worked together because we kind of always understood everything. We were kind of not to like showboat or anything, but like we were we were the smartest ones in the class. We always got it. We always worked together. We always got it done. And that was just it. That was just how our system worked. It was a Monday and we were in math class. We had just finished doing our assignment and we were kind of just sitting there talking like we usually do. Either we would usually be sitting there talking or like low key on our phone. So I remember that she had said, oh my God. <laughs> that was my nickname in middle school. It all started when a Spanish teacher couldn't pronounce my name and she said, Amy Aya. From that point on, you know, it, it, it was just Amy, you know? And she was like, Amy, oh my God, I, I have such a headache. I have the worst hangover right now. And I'm like, hangover? What? This is my first time hearing about these things. Like I never knew hangovers existed. Like I understood drinking, but I didn't know what a hangover was. And she was like, Oh my God, I drank so much at that party yesterday with like Caroline and Victoria and Crystal. Oh my God, and then I should have should never took those hits off, hits off the bomb. And I'm like, what's a bomb? And she's like, You don't know what a bomb is? And I was like, no. She was like, Well, you know what weed is, right? And I'm like, no and she was like oh my gosh you're serious and i was like yeah and actually this is the same day that she told me that i should lose my virginity before my junior year of high school for some odd reason that was a uh, a quote-unquote requirement i don't know why but it was but that was my very first time hearing about anything like that. Like I knew about smoking and I knew about drinking, but I never knew that there was this magical thing called marijuana. I didn't know what it did. I didn't know what it felt like. I don't know what it looks like. I don't know what it smells like. I was oblivious. The only thing that I knew was black and mild because um, not to expose, but like everyone kind of knows this already. My mom smokes black and mild. So that wasn't like foreign territory to me because I always knew about that and that's kind of all I knew about. So as soon as I heard this, I immediately became intrigued to the unknown. What is, what's weed? Like I don't understand what this thing is. Fast forward, I get to high school and my curiosity spikes even more because I'm finding out about so many more new things. Hookahs and like vaping 
pens and stuff and I had no idea these things existed. So a lot of times I smelled like Black Miles. Because my room is right next to my mom's, it was just a given that my clothing, like especially like my jackets, would smell like Black Miles. And I remember someone had asked me like, do you smoke Black Miles? And I was like, no, I never have. And they were like, oh, well you smell like, and I was like, oh, it's probably because of my mom because she smokes them all the time. I don't remember exactly how this, I'm so sorry, mom, by the way. Like not for like exposing you, like everyone knows that already, I'm so sorry. But um, I'm sorry for the next thing I'm gonna mention. So at one point I made a friend, I'm pretty sure at the library, I don't, I don't even remember who it was. He looked older than I did. And I was very curious at this point to like what this hookah pen was because it seemed like the safest thing when I had did my research like online and stuff about like what these things are. I asked my friend to get me a hookah pen and I gave him like $12, that's how much it was for like one of the little disposable hookah pen thingies. And I tried it and I fell in love. Like the taste of it was just so, I didn't even know like there were more flavors than what I had got. I just knew that it was amazing. And I remember I had brought one to school one day, like I didn't like use it or anything. I brought it to school so I could use it after school. I literally don't remember how a lot of this happened. That's crazy. So one day I decided that I was going to step out of my hookah pen box and try something different. I knew that a black mild is probably the easiest thing that I could try considering that my mom buys them like every day. So it wouldn't really mean anything if one went missing. I remember one day, I think my mom went to like, either she got her hair done or I was off one day and she was at work. I remember I had taken one and I had taken her lighter. I lit it and I tried it and I was like, mm. but I wasn't gonna like not finish it because like I can't just not finish it like that's that's unheard of like how do you not finish it you know so I kind of just sat there and I smoked and I remember at the end of the day my mom came home and she was like it smells like like fresh smoke and I'm like what do you mean she's like it smells like someone just smoked and I'm like that's not possible because I did this this morning like I'm I, I'm slick with it and she was not having it she was like I don't know and then from that day she always had a suspicion so I remember I had stole another one one day and I had brought it with me to school for after school. So after school we got out, I took up my black and my old while we were walking down the street and I was like flick flick. <sighs> Walking down the street, trying to be cool and shit. Smoking my black and mild, I pass it to my friend. Mm, you already know, like. And then it was that day. So one of my friends at the time had asked me, like we were all like walking in this like really big group. And he had asked me like, oh, where did you get it from? And I was like, I got it from my mom. And he was like, I'll give you like so-and-so dollars if you get me one. And I was like, Okay, that kind of just became a regular thing. Like whenever he asked for one, I just take one from my mom's stash and give it to him. And then like maybe two or three times went by and then immediately my mom, she started to notice one was missing every once in a while. And she had asked me about it. She was like, have you been taking one black miles? And I'm like, no, why would I take one? You know, like I don't have any use for it. <laughs> What's smoking? What is that? So my mom was kind of suspicious at that point, but not like super obvious. And then eventually it went from him giving me like a few dollars, like to like, I'll get you a hookah pen because like he knew that I like those hookah pen things. I'm sorry, mom. I mean, it's kind of over and done with, but like still I'm sorry. So I remember at some point I heard like classmates of mine like talking about like smoking and like smoking weed. And then my curiosity suddenly came back about what this weed thing was. And I went back to doing my research. I literally looked up everything possible. I was on Google like, what is weed? Where to get weed? How to buy weed? How much is weed? And it wasn't helping because she wouldn't tell me where to get weed and I didn't even understand entirely what weed was and what it did. I turned to YouTube. Eventually, my YouTube search turned from where to get weed to what can I use besides weed? And this is where it got 
dumb. So I was like really desperate at this point to try something new for some odd reason. I was looking up on YouTube like, what can you like smoke besides weed? And I came across this one video of this freaking guy outside in his goddamn patio in the backyard with his homemade freaking water bomb smoking tea. Now my mom still does not believe me to this day. To this day, she does not believe me. And I mean like tea, like not some foreign drug that no, no one has heard of before. No, I mean pop open the tea bag tea. Tea tea. I was watching this video and he was like, all you have to do is you just, you cut open your tea bag and put it onto your homemade bong and you just light it up and there you go. So at this point, my mom already assumed that I've been stealing her black and miles and probably like smoking them of course she doesn't believe anything i say because i am prone to lie i always resorted to lying because i never wanted to get in trouble i mean unbeknownst to me lying would just get me in even more trouble but i had no idea that's what was gonna happen even though i've been doing it for so long um one day when my mom was not home i decided to try and make this um water bottle bomb out of a water bottle and some foil and a pen and i just i just got to explain Experiment, you know, I was in there doing it big and I got me some tea. I was under the assumption that since this is tea, like it's not like any like type of, like it's not anything, like it's probably gonna smell like tea if I burn it, right? So I'm in the kitchen, right? I like crack the window a little bit just in case. Like the, the smell of burning tea was like too much. I sat at the kitchen table and I had my water bomb that I had made and I cut open my little tea bag and I like pinched a little bit and I put it on the foil and then I went, I smoked tea. You ever heard somebody say that? Have you ever, I wanna know, like have you ever heard someone say that? I genuinely smoked a tea bag, my a tea bag. I never heard some shit like that before in my life until my dumb did it. It didn't like feel like anything. It didn't taste like anything. It was just smoking tea and it was just really pointless. So I stopped and like I cleaned everything up, threw away the cut open tea bag. I put my water bong, my water bottle bong in my closet Um, because why would my mom go in my closet, you know? You stupid. Unbeknownst to me. So my mom comes home. She walks through the door and she says, why does it smell like weed? And I say, wait, what? There's literally no way, sis. Like, there's no way. Like, I can't even, I can't even tell you the truth hard enough. I can't even elaborate, bro. Like, it's not even weed, bro. Like, you're tripping at this point. And at the time, she was dating a police officer. So she's yelling at me and yelling at me. And I'm sitting here like, bro, like, you're fooled. Like, you're really fooled right now. Because it's not weed. I don't even know what weed looks like. I don't even know what weed smells like. And I, I, I legit didn't know what weed smelled like. Like, so I wouldn't even be able to be like, yeah, it smells like weed. Like, no, I don't know. I was kind of just like, it smells like oxygen to me. Like, it just smells like the air. The f so weed smells like the air now? Like, I was just confused and retarded at this point. So she calls her boyfriend. Her boyfriend comes over, he walks in, he takes a, wa a walk around the house and he's like, it's definitely weed. <laughs> sitting there like you're fucking kidding me dude there is no way there's literally there's literally no freaking way that this police officer just walked through this house and said yeah it smells like weed when i know deep down that was hard when i know deep down in my soul that was tea like i swear to i swear on everything i love i smoked tea that day and i to this day no one to this day will believe me when i say that that day i smoked tea i even told my mom the other day we were, i don't even know what we were talking about it had came up and I was like, it was tea. And she was like, yeah, okay. And I was like, I'll burn some tea right now. Watch me, watch me burn this tea right now and watch it smell like marijuana, apparently. I still don't even know if it actually smelled like weed. Weed could have been orange for all I knew. Weed could have been black. Weed could have smelled like fresh cut wood. I wouldn't know. I got in so much trouble that day. Like literally no one will believe me that it was tea. Every single time she kept trying to ask me like, you know when they give you a second chance to tell the truth and i'm like it was tea it's tea 
like real rap it was tea bro but yeah that was part one of my first time smoking i definitely got in trouble for smoking tea again in my closet because i was convinced that it didn't smell like anything then i got in trouble for that and my mom was home that's when she found my my water bottle bone that was a great day i got my beat that day she beat the shit out of me threw my pipe away too i worked really hard on that crack pipe <laughs> But yeah, that was my part one of my first time smoking. My part two will be the first time I smoked marijuana. Now between these two times, I didn't smoke anything besides like little hookah pens. That's literally all I did. Like, And I still didn't do a lot of that at all. If you guys wanna hear the story of the first time I smoked part two, comment down below and like this video and share this with everyone you know. Any stories that you think that I probably have done in you want to hear? Comment down below and I'll see if I want to embarrass myself some more because I have a lot more embarrassing stories worse than this. Yes, it gets worse than smoking tea. Like when I found out what coming over to chill was for the first time. Or like I got someone expelled over Snapchat. Or like when I got caught in the bathroom with the boy. Or like when we got kicked out of the library. Or when I got kicked out of church. Well, almost but if you want to hear more stories from me or any other types of videos let me know i'd love to do more makeup videos because i actually just did my makeup today for the first time in a long 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 time but yeah i hope you guys enjoy if you like this video give it a big fat freaking thumbs up and share this with everyone you know and comment down below what your favorite part was i will see you guys in the next video and bye <laughs>